Sorry, but I disagree. I mean, why throw away that center of balance that one creates for themselves? Over a feeling that comes and goes. To me, getting angry in a moment, a fit of rage, is like torture. Why? People do it just to relate to each other, to let them know that, hey, we're the same. But in reality, we don't need that. We don't need to feel these kind of feelings. And it's not just anger. This may sound cynical, but it's shame, it's doubt, it's fear. It's even happiness, really. Isn't that suppressing your natural emotion? Locking them up, caging them in, punishing them? I mean, they yearn to come out. Why prevent that? Do you think in the long run that's a healthy choice? Perhaps. I mean, don't we put away the things that we don't like or lock up and cage those we can't control? True, but now you're talking about people and people choose. True, but people get put away forever for an emotion that they had for just one moment. So you're saying we should teach people not to feel? No, should feel, but they should learn how to master them, how to control them. And then what happened? I returned him back to the back seat and just walked away before the cops arrived. Why'd you do that? Oh, he was alive. And then he stopped breathing. And how did you know her? I never said I did. So, I don't get it. All right, I'll say it one more time. The young boy asks the man, how do I look? The man not paying attention says, I don't know, you sound ugly. So the boy hits him and runs away. The man tells his friend about it the next day. And the man says, well, it's fair to say I didn't see it coming. What is wrong with the man? He likes to get hit by young boys. What? No, why would... He's fucking blind. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> you know, I never asked you, why this field of work? Why do you think? I don't think you want to know what I think. Try me. Fair enough. You know, I was a little surprised when I was told that you were the most qualified. I'm just kidding. You ever felt you weren't qualified? Yeah, all the time. Interesting. How so? Well, like most people, I want to make big leaps in a short amount of time. But in the day to day or the week to week, I don't really see myself making those big strides. Now, if I look back over the years, I can see that 
some of my clients have made great changes. I mean, some of them have made a complete 180. But I can't really see that in the moment. You know, I only get to see them for an hour a day, once a week. And there's only 52 weeks in a year. And of course, there's vacations, there's missed appointments, I get sick, they get sick. So, yeah, sometimes I do feel unqualified. I'm not able to see the changes that, say, a teacher gets to see with her students every day, or a surgeon who gets to see a broken leg physically get mended. But I do see it eventually. I'm helping people one day at a time, one person at a time, and they are better because of it. That's why I do it. Deep. A book goes to a chiropractor and says, hey, doc, can you help me out? Chiropractor says, sure. Let me guess. It's your spine. Book says, no. It's my back. Interesting. You know, we all have similar problems, but we see it differently. I have to be the one who sees it every which way. You have a tough job. I guess so. You have one of... No, probably the toughest job in the world. It comes with an extreme amount of stress, not to mention the commitment, the dedication, the responsibility. Yeah, but I like to think it comes naturally. True, you are doing great work. But nevertheless, it's still a very demanding job. Yeah, but you're making it seem like I'm father of the year. Interesting you chose those words specifically. Why did you never Let's not start that again, okay? We have to. I feel that's what's bothering you the most. Look, many people don't have kids. This is normal now. True, but usually it's because they're infertile. They never had the opportunity or they lost a child. Uh, I just never thought I was supposed to. Oh, Charles, I don't believe for one second you honestly thought you weren't supposed you know, to. No, well, maybe they didn't love me that much. Bullshit. Or maybe I didn't love them. Please, try again. Maybe I just didn't want him to grow up in a world like this. You said him. No, I meant them. It wouldn't matter to me if it was a boy or No, no, no. You, you said him. No. It, yeah, but I meant... You I meant said him. Okay, look. It doesn't change the fact that I don't want, nor do I have kids, so... I you don't. knew the lady? Excuse me? The lady in the vehicle. I don't know. Who was she? I don't know. Say it. I, I don't remember. Come on, who was she? Charles, it's been two years since you took office. We have to figure this out. This stays between us, you know that, right? We have to get to the bottom of this so you can focus so you can get some sleep. I have insomnia. You've known this for a long time now. Who was she? Let it go. Come on, who was she? Your friend. She was a friend. Go on. We dated for a bit. It was mutual. She didn't want anything serious. Neither did I. And? And she got pregnant. And uh, I didn't want to believe it was mine. But I told her I'll help her up as much as I can until, until I figured things out. You know? You know, but I wasn't ready. I... I wasn't available. What? Why not? Because I wanted to... I needed to do this. I wanted to help everyone, not just one person. It's what I was destined for since I was a child. And ironically, having a child... would have prevented all that. So then what happened? She brought him home a couple of days later. I barely looked at him. I told her that I knew someone that had a car. 
get one without paperwork so she can move around. The day of, I asked her to meet me in her neighborhood, somewhere close by at night. I figured it was best not to uh, not to see each other during the day until I figured things out. Night falls, she calls. I never even asked if she knew how to drive. I hear the tires screeching. And my heart just fucking just sinks. And I hear that bang. And then he ran. As fast as I fucking could. So, so that, that means you saw your, your child? Picked him up. He was still alive. It was the first time I actually saw him. First time I actually saw his eyes. You know, it was the last thing he saw. You should have said something to I us. Mom would have killed me, and and you you would have looked at me different. No, why would we? Then I had my son. And they got him killed. Oh, no, no. 